All right, so March 24th, uh, 2021. Uh, this is our 15th class. Tomorrow is our final class for Intermediate 3 from 8 to 9 p.m. So uh, today we're going to be taking a look at mid, or not the midterm, my apologies, the final exam. Today we're going to be looking at the final exam, uh, reviewing, answering any questions, and making sure that everybody completes the platform. Um, besides that, that's it. We'll just wait for everybody to log in and uh, get started.
Hey, Jose, how are you? A good day today? Good day. Great. So that's, you know, we're getting closer uh, only tomorrow and that's it. And then, poof, time for a little break and then, uh, you know, see what you can find, what kind of uh, jobs or applications or things like that. Okay. The last class, the last class. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last class. Mm -hmm. Today, the idea is to uh, check the uh, final test, make sure that everybody is okay. Um, sometimes uh, there's always a, a small issue with the platform or some some kind of problem somebody might have, and that's it. So. Today, playing video games. No, today, not games. No, video games. I will just play. Just the what, Jose? Que me había dicho, Ah, did you, today, did you play video games? I didn't play it. I didn't play it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, no time to play today, huh? No time to play. <laughs> All right. Hey, Marcel, how are you? Hello, I'm good. Yeah, good day today. Yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Um. I'm busy. A little busy. Yeah. Why? What? What was uh different today? Um, uh, because my brother had a uh, a lot of homework, so I I help I help with him with with it. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a good sister. <laughs> yes, it's my my mother doesn't doesn't um stay at home for her job. Mm -hmm. So I I help my brother. Okay, and how old is your brother, Marcy?
sorry, how, how old? He is seven years old. Yeah, uh, of course, he needs a lot of support yes. and help. Yes. Yes, it, uh, it is in first grade. Mm -hmm. so, it, uh, it's a little bit it's hunger because uh, there are with color, recent practice. It's a, it's a lot of things. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine that, you know, always is a little bit, a little hard for, for especially when they're so young, right? Because, you know, they, even for an adult, it's a little difficult to be organized and do everything online and everything. So. Uh, you can imagine that for a child is more difficult. Mm -hmm. Yes, a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, let me see. Oh, but I'm, uh -huh. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to, to make him uh, well. And how is he doing? Larry, can you repeat? How is your brother doing? Is he okay or is it difficult for him? No, it, it's okay. He's uh, very intelligent and, and he understands quickly. Okay. Yeah. But sometimes I... I I, I I am hungry with uh, uh, angry with with him. Okay, uh, uh, because he doesn't listen because he he plays too much or or what? Yeah, yeah, because he plays too much. He is distracted. He is distracted. Distracted. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you're talking to him, or you're explaining something, and then you say, "Nah, he he's not listening." Uh -huh. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Uh, okay it happens you know that he's seven years old it's it's kind of expected that he's not going to pay attention mm -hmm. yes and, and and then he he cries oh you only yell at me you don't pay attention you don't love me <laughs> okay yeah that's correct I can imagine. Selvin, how about you? How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good night. Hmm? How's everything? Fine, teacher. Fine, fine. Fine? Yes, yes. This day is a very good day. Oh, okay. Not, not too many activities or projects or, or what happened? Yes, I have a, a project in... in Yesterday I was work at night. I go to the bed. I went to the I went to the bed mm -hmm. at two a.m. o'clock. <laughs> two a.m. Yes, Mister. I, now I have I I very rest very tired, mm -hmm. but but now. I don't work tomorrow. I will work tonight. To, tomorrow or tonight? Tomorrow I work. I will work at night. Okay. Again. 
Okay. Today I wait to sleep eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need I needed that. Yeah. I can bet that especially yeah. uh when with so much uh yeah. activities when you don't sleep, right? Yes, and now uh, we work in Coca-Cola International. Ah, this, okay. Uh, office uh, into the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. Ah, in near the World Trade Center, not in the Hapa. No, no, in, in World Trade Center, they have a office, principal office in this. With me. Okay. Well, that's good. That way you don't have to go all the way out to out of the city, out to Nahapa or something like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. no, only in the city. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Well, we are going to uh, go ahead and continue. We just want to make sure um, we are clear and you know, I, I know you guys are done, but uh, I have to make sure that everything is, uh, that we see everything from the platform and the exam. So today we're gonna go over it a little bit, make sure it's clear and see if there are any difficulties or any areas that we're not. I'm gonna share my screen with you. All right, so. There we can see where uh, we're just wrapping up the last part of uh, unit five, the knowledge check. Um, and this one was, uh, you know, just choosing the correct verb to complete the conversations. Um, do you guys have any questions about this? Were, did you complete this or um, do you want to do it together? Please, together, please. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, no problem, Sylvie. We just want to make sure that it's clear. So. I think maybe Jose or Marcia, maybe they, they finish, but don't worry. Uh, the idea is to, to practice and to make sure we have the correct one. So we're gonna take turns, right? Um, we can see that number one is actually a small conversation. It's conversation with the person A, and then we have a conversation that continues with the person B. So it helps us to understand a little bit of how to use or what verbs to use. So let's try together. The cashier gave me too much change. What should I have? Done. Done. Very good, Marcy. Done is the correct answer because always when we have the verb have or has, we always, always have to use the past participle. Okay? So with that rule and with that information, what would be letter B? You should have something. Head. Correct. That is the idea because we're, we're taking a look at it, right? We know that when we use have or has, that's the perfect tense. And that means uh, we have to use a past participle. All right. So now that we have the examples, you can see we have a couple conversations and we're going to try it together. So everybody has an opportunity to practice, right? So here in letter B, sorry, <coughs> we have, you shouldn't have the money. What would be the answer? Hey, Ken. Excellent, excellent, that's right. All you have to do is identify the past participle, not the present and not the past, just the past participle. All right, so then for number two, now that Marcy did number one, uh, number two, let's have Jose. Jose, try number two. Uh, I dinner when I email from some, for some, I, I what would you have done? I've done, all right, good job, good job. Keep going, Jose, what's letter B? I would have, Reply to the person who just take the minute. Okay, Jose, we have two replied. We have uh, number one and number two. Which one do you think is the, the correct second, one? The second, the second. Yeah. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll choose that. 
Okay. Um, Selvin, do you want to try number three? I was watching a good movie when the phone rang. What should I do? Uh, has done. Has done. The second one, right? Yes. Okay. All right. And okay. continue, Selvin. You Which should one? have mm -hmm. taken the call and... Taking the call and... Mm -hmm. Call the person you call the letter. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Selvin. All right. And then the last one, Marce. We left our trash at the campsite. What would you have done? Okay. And letter B, Marissa? Mm -hmm. hey. Yes, the third one. The third one. Third. Taking it, B and from, yes. This one? Mister. Yes. Okay. Mister. All right. Yes, Marissa? The third one. I have a mm -hmm. in the in the extras the question number two. Number two. In the letter B, I think that is the the first one. All right. And you are correct, Marce. It is the first one. Replied is with IED. That is correct. When, because when in white, mm -hmm. the white changed to IED. It, right? Yes, that's right. That's right. Always when there's a consonant and the Y, it changes. If there is a, a Y uh, uh, or there is a vowel and a consonant, it doesn't change. But if there is only a consonant, uh, you know, then it has to change. You're right. Good. That's great, Marcia, that you recognize that. We have, some, we have another mistake as well, um, but it, it yes, is in the number three. Mm -hmm. have, is, what should I have done? Because oh. the subject is I. Correct yes. again. Yes, I checked now. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's correct again, Marcy, because has is only for he, she, and it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty good. And see, we can submit and verify that all of the answers that you did were correct, okay? Great. Any questions for those? Not sure. Okay, perfect. So, Jose, might I say everything's okay with that? Yes. yes. Okay, good, good. So let's go on to this reading. Um, I know we have a, a little bit of an issue with the reading in the final exam, but let's take a look here. We have Ask Amy, okay. Can you read that? Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we have, you know, uh, we'll, 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 take, we'll take parts. Um, Let's let's see. Selvin, you're going to read the first part. Um, the, yeah. And then uh, we'll, we'll take turns. Then Marce, then Jose, and then so on. Okay? So, Selvin, you begin reading. Dear Amy, someone told me that, we, that my brother's girlfriend was dating another gay. I feel I should let my brother know. And after I did, he decided to confront her with the story. 
they had a terrible argument and also she denied the rumor. They broke out. Now it turned out that the rumor wasn't true and my brother isn't speaking to me. Okay. This true sister. <laughs> okay, good, good. Just two words that we need to work on the pronunciation. One is the word guy, right here. Okay. That is, the word is guy. And the other word is denied, right here. That's denied. Okay, good. So before we continue, are all of the words okay? Do you understand the story? Do you understand what's going on? Yes. Okay, all right. Marcia, can you read the next story? Which one? Here. Uh, here, right here. Where it says you're... Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Answer to the letter. Good. Dear, you're making it too easy for him to stay where he is. Be fair and tell him he has two months to find a job and get his own place. It's all enough to take care of himself, but you have to be willing to let him go, Amy. Okay. Are there any words or anything you don't understand? Willing, teacher, to be willing. Willing, okay. You have to be willing is you have to have, a, you have to want to do it. That's willing. So willing is when you want to do something. So I want to, I, I want to improve my English. I am willing to improve my English. Or I want to, uh, let me see. Yeah, that's right, Jose. Uh-huh that the idea that you want to do it. It's okay, Sylvie? Yes. All right, good. All right, the next one, you, Jose. This uh, uh, teacher, I would suggest. No, uh, right here, dear Amy, my okay. son, my son is 23. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Dear Amy, my son is 23 years old. He's finished college last year, but he can't seem to find a job here. He likes PhD lives at home, and I am worried that he's not trying hard enough to get a job to support himself. Meanwhile, I've been cooking his meals and doing his laundry. Jose, any words you don't understand? Meanwhile, uh -huh. and meanwhile is during this time. So that's meanwhile. So meanwhile is during the this time or during that time. And I apostrophe the chiquita in la Yes, I would and could. Correct. Okay. 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 Yes, right. Uh huh. So I'd uh, is not, but it's not here in 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 this conversation. But uh huh. I would in or I could depends. Or I sorry I I. I'd is I had or I would. Okay, I have or I could. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, Selvin, do you read the next one? Uh, okay. Dear, mm -hmm. I would suggest you keep quiet. Let the, let the world think out for themselves. If you say something, you could 
damage your friendship with what have been. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, Sabine. Any, any question, any words you don't know? Mm. Not this. No. Okay, perfect. All right, Marcia? Dear Amy, I went to the movies with my best friend and her younger brother. She wasn't feeling well. So afterward, he drove me home. Where, while we were driving, he told me he had to keep school that day, taking his mother's car and gone to the beach. My dilemma is, do I tell my friend about this confused friend? Okay. Any part you don't understand? After war is similar to then, teacher. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Afterwards is similar to then. Skip it, teacher. Okay. Skipped school is not go to school, not attend okay. the not attend the classes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. The next one, Jos uh, the Jose. Uh, you should have it right. Yes. Okay. Here you should have thrown more charity before you act. It was time to get any which time speak to the star immediately and want him to not to do it again. Then almost speak to <laughs> All right. What's a short teacher? What's a short? It it was what Jose? It was a short. Yeah, history. it was. Uh huh. Any any words you don't know? In this case, just one, one, one. After and after immediately and one. Immediately you have to say for one. one. Uh, warn him is yes. when you say warn him is to to tell him about the dangers to to give him like a, a, a an opportunity or a chance this is warn him is okay. is is uh, in the uh, is, uh, the war warning is yeah, like in the issues. That's right. Yes. The warning, warning. Many times you see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next. All right, and the last one. Dear, while you're learning or listen, you shouldn't you shouldn't have listening to gossip, and you shouldn't have possess possess it on. Now you have to repair the damage. Apologize uh, sincerely and hope he will forgive and forget. Okay. Any words you don't know? Gossip. Gossip is a, when the people talk or they they talk about other people. Ah, you know, Marcela has four boyfriends. Hey, Jose, he never goes to class. Or this is the gossip. Okay. <laughs> the, the gossip. Mm -hmm. Where do where you are? Jose, when you? Where do you, where do you are? 
when when you act how will you act ah uh, yes yes, yes. The, the gossip is the communication is the speaking about uh, about other people Mm -hmm. that yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a TV show. It's called Gossip Girls. All they do is talk about other girls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the reading is okay for everyone? Yes. Okay, good. So from the reading, as you can see, whew, we have a lot of different words, right? And the idea is, what is the meaning? So, for example, the word confront. What do you think is confront? If I say, I'm going to confront Jose, what am I saying? I think that is challenged in a dieted way. Okay. Like face to face. Very good. That's good. Very good. Challenge face to face. Good. What about number two? Distraught. You say, oh, he is or she is distraught. Remembering, worried, or upset. Okay. All right, Selvin. Good. What about dilemma? We have a dilemma. A difficult problem. Okay, a difficult problem. Dilemma. Dilemma. Yeah, dilemma. Number four, firm. A strong and determined. Okay, strong and determined. Okay. And what about work things out? If you need to work things out, what does that mean? Find a solution. Okay. Let's see, find a solution. And then the last one, ah, sometimes you just need to forgive and forget. Make a fresh start. Make a fresh start. All right. Pretty good. All of those are correct, very good ideas for the reading comprehension, okay? And um, close that, all right. So I think the final part that we have here is just taking a look at and making sure that the exam is clear. Um, Marce, Selvin, Jose, have you completed the exam? I know Marce, I think you remember, I think I remember you said that the the reading part was the one that you hadn't done. My test is in Jessica. I got I get the certificate. Hey, 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 congratulations, Jose. So happy to hear that. Good job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And yes, I I had a problem with the last exercise, but I did it today and you could do it today it, you didn't have a problem um yes the problem is continues i see yeah but but i did it <laughs> yeah 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 it's multiple choice so you you know you always have yeah. that the opportunity to do it okay and for you sylvain you completed mm -hmm. Only, uh, I only finish the part C, rewrite sentences. Mm -hmm. And the, the other, other part, part is, mm -hmm. is over. Okay, okay. So let's, let me explain it just a little bit to make sure it's clear for Selvin and in case for whoever watches the, uh, the YouTube or the video mm -hmm. at home. In this midterm, the final exam, we have uh, four sections, A, B, C, and D. Section A is a listening, and it's actually um, four, only four questions, you can see. 
uh, the four questions you have to answer with information from the listening. My tip, my recommendation is you first read the questions, right? Read the questions first to understand or to know what you're going to listen for. Then you listen, answer the questions. And then you listen one more time and check your answers. So you're gonna listen two times. You're going to read the questions first, listen, then answer, and then listen again. And that makes it, that may, that way you are sure that you are doing the best that you can and you understand the most that you can. This is that part A, listening. In part B, complete the conversation. It's actually pretty good um, if you think about the activity that we did at the beginning of the class today. All you do is read the sentence and choose. Uh, at the beginning of the class, it was just uh, with the perfect tense, but here it's choosing the entire phrase or expression in order to complete it. And so you have the same as at the beginning of the class, it's a conversation, it's not just a sentence. So in number one, it's A and B. Number two, the same thing, A and B. And number three, it's also a small conversation, person A and B, and you wanna choose it. In part C, rewrite the sentences, might be one of the, the little bit harder parts, but it's the part that is, remember that you need to write correctly. And what you're going to do is you're going to write the sentence uh, in a different way, okay? So you're gonna use the word or words that they have in parentheses into the sentence. And you have to write those in the correct form using those words, okay? This is part C. There are only three of those, small writing, but it's important that you write correctly. Check the capital letter, check your spelling, make sure you have a a period at the end, the punctuation, things like that. And the last part um, we mentioned is a reading, but it's actually very unusual, but there's actually a problem with the platform as far as the reading. So I, I have written already to the office a couple of times, actually. I, I wrote to them on the 11th. I wrote to them uh, yesterday and um, I wrote to them again today to see if we can solve those issues, but they haven't answered or they haven't fixed it. Not they haven't answered. They haven't fixed the problem yet. If uh, you can try like uh, Marcia did and just, you know, choose the words that sound like it would be logical to complete the sentence, or uh, we can try and wait for tomorrow. But uh, there, are, there are, we have a couple of solutions. So you can try both of those. Okay. Um, I don't know if there are any questions about any parts of the exam. Hey, Mister. Yeah. I need an example in the part C. Okay, let's take a look. Part C. One more time. Rewrite sentences. Okay. Only the one, please. Okay. So, uh, what do you need? The number one, or, or, or which one? Yes. Sorry, number one. Yes, I, I, I write, uh, turn off the light before you have, uh, the bear is in participle. No, no. Past? No, this is the, the verb I, uh, you have to. Mm -hmm. Okay, I write, I write, you have to leave um, point. <laughs> um, it's wrong. Yeah, that's correct. It's wrong. You're right, Sylvain. That is not a correct way to, to write that sentence. Okay, so uh, instead of beginning with the verb, begin with the person. How do you begin? Try to begin with the person, or maybe Marce or Jose can help you with number one. Uh, Marce or Jose, wh what do you think would be a good idea to begin number one? Uh, by the topic, obligation. Remember. 
So how do you think we, we begin to make this sentence? You have, you have you, you, okay. You have so, to turn up. Okay. Live, live. Turn? No, live. Turn on the light. Live. You have live. to leave. So Jose, Jose says you have to leave. Mm -hmm. Turn out the light before. You have to leave. Turn off. Oh, sorry. Turn out. It says turn the out light. the lights before, right? Right. Okay. All right. Uh, we can check and we can see that it is not correct. That's yeah, not. That is wrong. not. Yeah. It, that, it's. It, 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 uh -huh. You have to turn out. You have. You have to turn out the light before you leave. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is that it? Before. To turn. Yes, I think. Yes, All right. There you go. And you, you can see that Marce is the correct answer. That is, that is the correct grammar structure is um, you have to, it's an obligation. So then you just use the verb. It's not a perfect tense. It's just an obligation. And that's how do we know when, why we're not using the past participle? Because when is a past participle, we do not use the word to. It's only have and the past participle. But when we okay. use, that's going to be the tip. If you use the word to, no past participle. But if you only have the word have or has, yes, it's necessary the past participle. So good job, Marisa. Very good. Identifying that we have to begin with the person and then our obligations. In this case, the action, turn out the lights. Mm -hmm. All right. So we can see. Um, pretty good. We, we completed the, the part of the final exam, uh, the reviewing, uh, lesson five. Jose has his diploma, Marce uh, as well. Um, Selvin only needs to complete the, uh, the other sections of the exam. Two right. and three, the parts. <laughs> only, only, uh, only two parts, right, Selvin? Only, uh, no, only two and three. Part C, and, right sentence only. Hey, do you see, Selvin? Yes. Tonight, in this moment, you have the diploma. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Good. So be, uh, we, we have some time, which is great. Um, but I just want to review and make sure. Um, do you have any specific questions? Anything that you found a little bit difficult in the platform or in the lesson or in this course that you say, hey, I, I still maybe... I still get confused or I'm not clear or do you want some more examples for anything? Okay. Jose, for you, any? Hey, hey, all right, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that everything was easy for you to understand and good. And um, Marcin? All right, I'm glad. Marce, what about you? Uh, it's okay. It's like Selvin says, it's the practice more. Okay, yeah. Many times that's the, really, that's the big part, right? It's just the, the practice is necessary, a little bit more practice. Okay. All right, and Marce, uh, for you, what part do you think, or what part do you feel you need to practice more? I think the the conditional. Okay, so uh, kind of the the situations where we talk about I would, uh, I I. Could I I should like this, right? Yes. Okay, all right. So Marce, uh, my Spanish is not very good. I, I have bad Spanish. What do you <laughs> what do you recommend I do to improve my Spanish? Huh? 
how can I improve my Spanish, Marcia? Um, let me see. <laughs> You, you should, you should practice every day. Okay. All right. Okay. And then you see, okay. So here's going to be the difference. When you use you should, um, I would, uh, you could, this is not a conditional. This is just your opinion, your recommendation, your suggestion and is the same structure as the conditional. Yeah. The difference is in the conditional, instead of giving only your opinion, you should uh, practice every day, okay? Uh, we begin, or we have the, the first part, okay? And that first part is that if, if I were you, if you want to improve your Spanish, you should practice every day. If I were you, I would practice every day. That's going to be the difference. So when we're looking at the, the times where we're thinking about a conditional, a conditional similar to giving your opinion or recommendation, the difference is that instead of just only your opinion or only the recommendation is, you are also putting a situation, what happens for that situation to occur, okay? So, so if, if you if you want to improve your Spanish, mm -hmm. you will have or only you you will. Uh, it, it, it depends what you're going to say, Marce. Uh, uh, you, I don't know. Uh, it the verb could be half, but it depends your sentence. But yes, you have to use would or should or or if mm. you if you want to improve your Spanish, mm -hmm. you will have. Uh, do you have practice every day? Okay, similar, sim, pretty good. If you want to improve your Spanish you would have to, remember, it's an obligation, you would have to practice every day. Or if you want to improve your have Spanish, to. have to, it's an obligation, right? You would have to. If, okay. if it's only a recommendation, uh, if you want to improve your Spanish, you should practice every day. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, Jose, what if I want to, uh, you know, uh, what if I want to get a, a, a console? What, what console do you recommend? Console. Advice. Yeah. What, what kind of, uh, for, for playing games, for playing video games, what should I get? Yeah, sorry, I didn't hear the last part, Jose. It's a little hard to 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 get it. What what was the? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the case of Jose, uh, he 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 didn't use the structure, all right? But the same idea. Uh, Jose says he doesn't know. He no idea. So. Uh, that's exactly how you use it, okay? So you can say, if, if I were you, or uh, if you want to get a console, you should uh, investigate more. You should uh, find the games that you like, or you should, whatever. 
it's similar to what we talked about with Marce. This conditionals is many times is just your opinion. It's just giving your opinion and your recommendation and finding a new way to do it. That's all it is. That's the idea for the conditional. The difference is that instead of giving only your opinion, you give a situation and what happens in that situation with your opinion. So if I tell uh, if I tell hey Selvin, I want to pass I want to pass this course. I want to pass this course. What do I need to do? I want to pass this course. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I want to pass this class. Tell me, Selvin. Give me what. Mm -hmm. Give me. Uh, Give me your idea. What do I need to do? Well, uh, my in my case, and. Uh, uh, we need to uh, remember the verbs in past. Um, for example, in the in the part of the uh, we, we, mm -hmm. Don't worry, Selvin, don't worry, hang on. Marcia, Marcia do you want to help Selvin? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Marcia. Mm -hmm. You will have to finish the practice. Okay. So kind of, exactly, That's, this is the idea. So we're, we're getting pretty good at it. All right. So what we're looking at is, okay. So if this is the conditional, this is, this is so we understand the part of the conditional. You give the situation. If you want to pass the class, then you put your opinion. You should complete all of the assignments. You give uh, what you do. I would, uh, I would study every day, okay? You give options. You could uh, work on the platform uh, in your cell phone, you see? And that's the conditional. You give the situation, okay? So the situation is pass the class, if you want to pass the class, or in the case uh, that we mentioned with Jose, if you want to buy a console, or in the case of Marce, if you want to improve your Spanish, that's the conditional situation that you give the situation, you give the statement, and then the opinion, recommendation, condition. That's that's the part of how you use it. I want to find a girlfriend. Okay. If you want to find a girlfriend, uh, I want to prepare. Uh, I I want to prepare. I don't know for for a marathon. I want to prepare for a marathon. Ah, if you want to prepare for a marathon, you need to this and this. That's the idea of conditional. First, always put, or to make it easier, uh, is put the situation, okay? Marcia says uh, her brother. I remember at the beginning of the class, she says her brother, uh, he, he wants to improve in, in school. Okay, or uh, the mom wants for him to improve in school. So the same situation. If you want your brother to improve in school, you, you should help him with homework. I would spend time with him, okay? You could tutor him in the classes. All of those are the idea for the conditionals. Is that okay? 
ethnic. Right. Marcia, how's that, uh, that help you out a little bit more to understand a little bit better and clearer the, the conditionals? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. Begin is the statement and then is the consequence. Right, right. That's the that's a great way to look at it. You know, you, you think about it like that, okay? And the other mm -hmm. so first the statement, first the, the thing, and then the consequence or the recommendation or the opinion, whatever. Remember the conditional is that part that second part it, it the difference from just your opinion is that you have the situation and what you think could happen should happen or would happen if it's in the past if the condition is in the past remember we use have and the past participle i would have helped your brother you should have uh, studied with him that's the difference if you want past you use the same structure, but have and then the past participle. Is that okay? All right, guys. Okay. Well, in that case, it's time for us to finish. And I see you tomorrow. And you know, and our last day. So have a great night. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good Take. night. All right. Thank good you. night. You too. Good night. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the party. Tomorrow is the last day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> And then, you know, one week of vacation, and then well, hopefully we return quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes, Elvin. Uh, I rewrite <laughs> more, more time in the number three and don't have the answer. Okay, we, we'll check tomorrow, Elvin. Yeah, 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 we'll check tomorrow, but. Okay, tomorrow check. Okay, we need to, we'll work on it. All right? Okay. All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.